Just, you know, Mr. Prosperity again. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Same old story that I've been going on about. Inherent corruption in the system. Uh, fuck, fucktards who, um, that'd rather save face, who need to be fucking executed publicly because they're too fucking corrupt. And they don't give a fuck about anyone but themselves. They think they're better than everyone else. They're power hungry, power sick, whatever the fuck you want to call it. They're just bitches. That is so late in this story. Oh my god, we had so much data by then. This whole idea of saying, you know, China wasn't giving us the good data. That's why we were slow to respond. Let, let, me, let me just remind everybody again. Here's what I managed to do with a $109 a month internet plan. All right? I managed to figure out that I should be tracking this in the week of January 13th. I issued an alert on January 23rd. I said this had all the hallmarks of being a true pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, released a video on the 24th warning everybody about this. On the 27th, I declared this is a full pandemic. Called for immediate halt of all flights from China. On uh, February 2nd, reported on its asymptomatic infectivity and the implications of that, noting that if you have asymptomatic infectivity, good luck trying to stop this thing. The only way to do that is you've got to stop everybody. And I was really complaining at that point in time that the United States by that time had put in place this screening, air quotes, I'm, wave, I'm wiggling my fingers in the air, screening Here, I'll at do airports it for you. where they were pointing those little temperature guns at people's foreheads and calling that a screening. Well, you can't screen that way for asymptomatic people. That's what I was noting at the time. And then on February 4th, I noted, of course, China was fudging data at, by quadratic fits, but it was even earlier than that. I think it was by the February 2nd or 3rd. One of the things I was deeply concerned about was there were all these incredible citizen videos coming out of China in the Wuhan hospitals showing bodies in the hallways and, and people pitching over in the streets and all that kind of stuff. And then they stopped. And that was my first clue that we had a big problem on our hand because China was using their firewall to suppress that sort of information. So by deduction, I was able to conclude that China was not being honest about this and was hiding data and they were doing it for political reasons. If I knew that, how is it possible that presidential task force as late as February 26 is now trying to come back and revise history and claim, well, you know, we were looking at China's data and, you know, Oh, yeah, yeah. Why would they want to use revisionist history? Hmm? Well, this is nothing new to me. Years ago. <laughs> Fucking years ago. How many years ago? Twelve. Fifteen. Years Somewhere around there, 12 to 15 years ago, I noticed that when I was in high school. When I literally bought the exact same book two years in a row. Yeah, I did this. Uh, I don't remember why at the time, but it came, it came in handy. Yeah, it really did. Because in one of those history books, uh, exact same book... Just a different year edition of it. Yeah, in the first one, there was the Trail of Tears. And in the next one, right after that, exact same book, just a different year that it was released. The Trail of Tears was removed from that history book. Revisionist history at its finest. And that's just another reason why the corrupt, tyrannical, terrorist regime known as the United States Criminal Organization of America needs to fucking go away. Everyone needs a new system that's not going to fuck them over. It's not based on the ideology that I'm better than you, so you have to give me this resource that I imagine exists. And I'm going to call it cash or money or currency. Yeah. Now let me let me give you this quote. The Star Wars quote. I think I've used it before in a video. Yeah. Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. And it's time to kill the past. Because the past is holding us back from the present, let alone the future. The past is shackling us to the, this outdated, imperialistic, tyrannical terrorist doctrine of 
you have to pay us money because you exist. Because you're our slave property. That's just slavery with extra steps. Paying someone money because you exist and calling it a taxation. Think about it. Use this analogy. They claim that the Mafia was a terrorist or criminal organization. Either one. They probably used both. They said this because racketeering and profiteering. And they call it racketeering when uh, the Mafia goes out and their, their foot soldiers beat up people and take money from them. Because uh, whatever reason. It, do it doesn't matter the reason. They just call it profiteering and racketeering. But uh, here's the thing the government does. They say, you pay us money or we're going to throw you in a fucking box over there <laughs> where other people do beat you up instead of the government. That's just the same damn thing with an extra step involved. They're still taking money from you because you exist. They're still telling you this is protection money. Yeah, so, so that they don't throw you in jail. That's them doing something to you and, you know, taking away your freedoms, you know, your, your unalienable right to your own life, to live your own life as you so see fit by not paying them this bullshit taxation just because you exist, just because you don't want to be their racketeering slave. Yeah. Go figure. In this geopolitical fuckfest of uh, the blame game, yeah, e every one of you fuckers who are uh, pointing fingers and playing the blame game, you just go fucking kill yourselves. Save everyone the trouble and just go fuck yourself right off, okay? Because it's past time for you to fucking die. It really is. It's past time for your ty terrorist, tyrannical, corrupt bitch system to fucking go away. Way past fucking time. The only thing it's doing is holding people back. It's just fucking over everyone. So just kill yourselves. Save everyone else the fucking trouble. Eh, fuck off till next time. Oh, might as well let this run for the whole 10 minutes just to get it into YouTube's bitch algorithm system. And that's another thing that needs to go. Just another part of the bullshit. Boo-hoo, they didn't tell us what we could have inferred just by watching the situation unfold because we're lazy. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Go fuck yourselves. Boo-hoo. We could have looked at historic documents dating back for the last 200 years that America has existed and seen for ourselves that a virus comes out every fucking hundred years like clockwork, but we're lazy and we want to play the blame game. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Please, just go fucking kill yourselves. Oh yeah, yeah, everyone's bullshit fallacy about the rule of three, so let it be. Let me think of one. Hmm. Oh yeah. Boo-hoo! We have to protect the economy because it's a delicate system that keeps our slaves in check. Boo-hoo! Boo-hoo! Go Fucking kill yourselves. Corrupt, immoral, bitch fucking ass, government fucking scum. You corrupt, terroristic, tyrannical fucks. You useless, 
pathetic waste of a fucking orgasm scumbag sacks of walking shit.